Hey everyone, this is Kedrick Gonzalez, Creative Director at Elphonic. I wanted to make this video today to quickly go over the first release of Revival, which came out last night as of this recording. This is the first release on a Stage 1 client, which is the, the very big first milestone of a very big game and a lot more to come. Uh, this video is going to go over what you're going to experience, um, some of the things that are in there, and uh, what we have planned next. First I want to talk about what you're actually going to be experiencing within the client itself. If you're having any issues downloading or trying to figure out how to install the client, we went ahead and put instructions in the comments of this video. If you're having any problems outside of that, we recommend you go into the forums and try to, you know, talk about it there because if you're posting in the comments, there's a good chance we're going to miss it because, you know, YouTube comments, you know how those go. But anyways, so if you're going to get getting in the client, you're opening it up for the first time, what you're going to see is the very first stage of stage one. That's the first client. So the, in this stage, what you're experiencing is your house. If you purchased one through the Revival website, you can now access it and run around it and take a look. It's the very first step. It's all foundation stuff. Not much to see yet, but it's uh, definitely the big, it's a very big step. A lot of content. 45 different houses are available right now. Um, I don't, I don't doubt anybody has those many houses, but um, it, it is there. So there's a lot of content. It's, that's why it's kind of a big four gigabyte release. Um, the temporary characters are there um, and all that stuff. Now until we get a patcher ready, and what a patcher is if you're used to MMOs, usually whenever you try to log into the game for the first time there's a little bit of a downloader before the client actually launches. If you notice that on the first release we're using a torrent which is an act with an actual setup exe file. That kind of sucks. It's archaic, it's kind of an old school thing to do. Um, we're currently building the patcher but it's going to take a little bit longer and we really wanted to get this in your hands and not wait for that kind of back end fluff stuff. Um, so this is very, you know, basic stuff, setup. Uh, whenever we release a new version, it's gonna be another setup file. So whenever you're logging in, you'll see like this little news and announcement thing up in the top right corner. We'll let you know if there's a new version available so you're always staying up to date. You can't even log in if you are on a version that's out of date. So don't worry about that. You will, we'll definitely let you know if you're in, out of, on an out of date version. And I also wanted to go over what some certain things that are in the version you're going to be playing that, you know, to me personally, I want to point out um, because I've also even seen some comments with players. Uh, first, um, uh, was one of the things that you might see in the screenshots, the way the buildings look and the houses look and all that stuff is the lighting is a lot different than what's actually there on the screenshots. And the reason for that is that we weren't able to get a real-time solution for global illumination in on time. Now, global illumination is a technology that essentially takes a light and bounces it, and that light will bounce and scatter and fill an environment with light. Like if you take your sunlight and put it on a piece of white paper, you'll see like the walls near like kind of brighten up and stuff. Now, this is a, kind of a new technology for real-time solutions. Uh, there's a few games out there that have it, and there's a few games that use some fake methodologies for it. But there currently isn't a, like a really um, good way for us to implement it into Revival right now. Uh, we are looking into solutions for that, but right now this is kind of um, our temporary, hey, this is where lighting is, because if we did it the other way, which was in the screenshots where we manually placed lights to simulate balance lighting, it would essentially be unplayable. Performance is absolute shit. Mostly because of the estates, the gigantic buildings, the houses and stuff like that. Trying to fill in those big spaces with lots and lots of real-time lights isn't really going to work. Now, most games you might see have bounce lighting and stuff. They usually do bake lighting, and bake lighting is when the light doesn't move. So you're able to do stuff like that. You can have like all this a, a, a light coming through a crack in the wall, and then it bounces and fills an entire environment. That's not really possible with Revival because we're going to have full dynamic day and night cycles. So we really need a real-time global, global illumination system. Uh, this is a current, current kind of setback for us in this release. Um, I have talked about it before, and I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping I put some little overlay images here so to kind of show like what this one technology from NVIDIA they have is uh, a real-time uh, voxel-based GI solution which we're experimenting with, uh, which hopefully I think is going to be a solution. Um, we have a lot to learn with it. Our assets aren't optimized for it yet, um, but it might be something that gives us that uh, really truly next-gen lighting we, we desperately need for revival. Um, so consider the lighting you're experiencing right now, kind of a temporary thing. Um, if you're in your house and running around, it feels kind of dark or something, feel free to like, you know, hit up some torches that are on the wall. You can interact and turn those on. Uh, turn on the fireplace. I will warn you, uh, if you're running around some of the, the manses, um, 
the performance might get hit a little bit because those are all casting dynamic shadows. Um, that kind of technology isn't cheap, it's never been cheap. Um, so it's definitely something to keep, but keep in mind whenever uh, you're running around your house. Another thing I wanted to touch base on is the temporary characters. You can tell the temporary characters because there's a big fat fucking marquee going around their waist that says temporary character at all times. We wanted to make this very clear if it's not apparent because we want to make sure that the characters you're seeing aren't representative of the quality of characters we're going to have in the final version of Revival. Those characters were made in our alpha testing phase a couple years ago when we were first starting to touch Revival and they they were, you know, we spent some good money on them and we need some characters and we was like, you know what, we better just use them. Have something to play with so you can cycle between them. We want you to make sure that um, you're aware temporary character if the big fat fucking marquee running around the waist isn't clear enough. A lot of people have been asking about the progress of estates and I wanted to kind of touch on that. Um, estates have been something that's, they're a giant beast and, it's, and like I said, it's something that affected how we plan our lighting and everything like that because they're massive. They're not, they're, yeah, they're massive buildings. They're not something that's small. Um, they make manses look like tiny dollhouses. Let's just go ahead and say that. They're the grandest of the grandest things you can get as far as houses in the cities of Revival. And it is also a very important step in us in our mass production scale when we want to build buildings like cathedrals or dungeons and giant sprawling things using our modularity system. Um, there was a lot of trial and error and a lot of things we had to learn along the way. Um, but they're almost done. Like they are just right on the edge of being done. Um, there's also an issue with our payment provider, which we're trying to figure out, which is also going to prevent us from turning those online uh, so people can purchase them. Um, but please, please keep your eyes out and open and we will, um, you know, we'll be posting screenshots soon. Um, they're looking absolutely fucking amazing. I think you guys would be really happy with them. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is what's coming next. So if you've been paying attention, our stage one version is all the way up into the house where you have your house you can upgrade if you got an upgradable kit uh, for your house upgrading the walls and stuff the renovation kits props decorating with props and a bunch of other cool features we're going to be sneaking in there um, this stuff is all on a rollout plan going forward we hope to get each one of these steps out within two to three weeks of this first release each time so the next up after this release is the upgradable kits. And what those do is if you purchase one for your house, it upgrades the walls, ceilings, and floors, uh, makes your, your house look way better, especially if you got a hovel or a cottage and like, makes it look a little bit more livable. Um, the next stage is the renovation kits and, and props. Uh, I think it's the props first. The props is gonna be just, hey, if you bought props, you'll come in, you'll see your house decorated all over the place, and then you can go into a house decorate mode where you're flying around with the camera, you're picking up stuff, and you're decorating your house with all the props. It's really cool. Um, that whole system is still being worked on, uh, but it shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, the step after that is the renovation kits. So that's all the themed rooms you might have been you might have purchased for your home. Um, those have a lot of functionality and other things they're going to add to your home uh, in later releases. So um, these are the first steps, and each one of these things are going to come out. Uh, we're going to be very clear with you guys uh, what the status of those are, if there's any hiccups and delays or anything like that. So please keep your ears tuned to Revival and uh, keep an eye on the forums, and we will be in contact with other updates as soon as they happen. I hope you guys please give us feedback on forums on what you're thinking and what you're feeling. Tell your friends. We're now happy. This client's out. It's finally happened. This is the first step and it's only going to get better from here. Thank you.